Hey there, Mini Wargamers. This is Mini Wargaming Owen, bringing you a few tactics on some Dark Elf Warriors. One of the, my, they're core units. I'll get into it. I'll show you what I think. Anyway, Tactica on Dark Elf Warriors. Dark Elf Warriors are one of your core units with the Dark Elf Army. They have a lot of different options for how cheap they are. Um, one of, they of course have the stat line of most elves, high movement skill, high weapon skill, high initiative. They're not very strong, the same as any kind of human out there. Uh, with that though, they do also gain light armor and a possibility for a shield for very low cost. That being said, you don't want to invest too much into these guys. They are just kind of the, the, the fodder before your main units, your units that are actually going to do damage, which we'll get into later. The main unit, the main bonus that I have seen with these guys is to throw a sorcerer in there with a sacrificial dagger, as I'm sure everyone has either been up against or has seen done. I do like lining them up in a good solid rank of seven across, so you can get maximum front hits. You're looking at 21 hits uh, when you're receiving the charge, 14, 15 if you have the uh, lordling in there to on the charge. That, of course, you're not going to put them by themselves. Often you'll have the sorceress in there, so you're not really going to be running into combat. You're going to kind of sit back, throw your spells around. But for their price cost and what you can give them, they are definitely a good choice in your core options. Another thing that you can do with Dark Elf Warriors is you can have assassins hidden inside them. Assassins have kind of their own... I might get into their own tactics later, but Personally, I wouldn't bother putting an assassin in a squad of Dark Elf Warriors. One, they're really expensive. Two, for how hard they hit, they're not really a worthwhile upgrade. You're almost better throwing a hero into the group if you wanted that kind of backup in your Spearman units, which you may or may not. It depends on the tactics you're going for. Personally, it's not something that I deal with. Of course, there's always lots of options. That being said, like I said, seven seven ranks across or seven men across in the ranks. Normally I wouldn't fill them in this deep. That's just an example. Uh, they are still a work in progress as I'm sure you can see, but they're coming along. One of my favorite core units, there are of course the crossbowmen, which I'll get into later, that are my favorite unit. Dark Elf Warriors are definitely a solid backbone in Dark Elf Army. The main bonuses, low cost, high initiative, high weapon skill, big negative, they are elves. So they're squishy, and they die pretty quick. High leadership though, actually, as a bonus that I neglected to mention, but they are very squishy for elves. So you'll get in, you'll get your hits in, but then you're gonna start getting smacked around. And they're not very strong. So don't throw them against ogres, don't throw them against uh, ogres, you can win with the ranks, but more of a story is they'll beat most other core units that they come up against in the initial fight, but they won't do well given the prolonged battle. So. Best option that I see, put in the sorceress, sacrifice them, get your spells out, because Dark Elf magic, that's the way to go. Happy Wargaming.